For more than a year, Microsoft attempted to get Jim Ryan Sony to sign a Call of Duty deal. And because Microsoft was still fighting in court with the CMA and the FTC, Sony did not take that deal. But seeing that now Microsoft came out victorious beating uh, the FTC and soon going to make a deal with the CMA, Jim Ryan Sony is now bending the knee. However, they are getting a worse deal than the first deal that was offered. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <laughs> this is Island Gaming with Jay and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's talk about how Sony needs a couple lessons in the art of the deal. Let's get it. Everyone knows that Call of Duty is very important to PlayStation. When we look at the data, we notice that Call of Duty not only brings in uh, hundreds of millions of dollars for um, SIE, but at one point in time brought in a billion dollars in revenue. We know that Call of Duty uh, is one of the most played games on the PlayStation platform. It's not the single player, as the ponies say, the single player bangers. It is multi-plats, one being Call of Duty. So we can understand why Jim Ryan was so concerned of Call of Duty becoming exclusive on the Xbox platform. So much so that he said, I don't want a new Call of Duty deal. I want to block the merger or your merger. That is why Jim Ryan was so bent on Microsoft not buying Activision Blizzard. And you see, Sony thought that they had the advantage seeing that the FTC and the CMA was, uh, you know, heavily scrutinizing Microsoft deal. So they thought they could have got Microsoft to do anything they wanted. But seeing that they took that route and Microsoft won the route that they took, which was fighting them in court, now Microsoft have Jim Ryan in the palm of his hands, yes? So much so that Jim Ryan did this yesterday. Phil Spencer tweeted, we are pleased to announce that Microsoft and PlayStation have signed a binding agreement to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation following the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. We look forward to a future where players globally have more choice to play their favorite games. Now let's listen to Tom Warren as he explains why this deal is worse for PlayStation. Sony has agreed to a 10-year deal for Call of Duty with Microsoft to keep the franchise on PlayStation after the proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition. Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer says Sony and Microsoft have agreed to a binding agreement to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. This ends a bitter battle between the companies that has been waged both privately and publicly over the past year after Microsoft announced its proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard in January 2022. While Microsoft's initial announcement doesn't mention 10 years for Call of Duty on PlayStation, Kerry Perez, head of global communications at Xbox, confirmed the 10-year commitment to The Verge. Perez later confirmed to The Verge that the deal is only for Call of Duty, though. That makes the deal similar to a 10-year agreement between Microsoft and Nintendo, but not the various deals Microsoft has struck with NVIDIA and other cloud gaming platforms to bring Call of Duty and other Xbox, Activision games to rival services. Microsoft's original deal offer to Sony in January 2022 included keeping all existing Activision console titles on Sony, including future versions in the Call of Duty franchise or any other current Activision franchise on Sony through December 31, 2027. The deal terms have clearly changed since that opening offer, with an extension to 10 years that's limited to just Call of Duty. So there are some ponies out there on Twitter who is claiming that this isn't bad. This is actually the best deal Sony could have gotten. But we all know they are coping. We all know that they know that Sony got a worse deal. And here's why. But you're saying, how is this a worse deal? How has PlayStation gotten a worse deal compared to if they had signed it a year ago or a couple months ago? Let me explain why. You see, prior to Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard, 
Sony had exclusive right to content, exclusive content, which uh, made gamers flock to the PlayStation platform before Xbox or any other platform, right? They had exclusive content. In addition to that, the first 10 year deal that Microsoft offered uh, the rest of companies like Nintendo, Ubisoft, Nvidia did not only include Call of Duty, it also included Activision games, Activision titles. But this new deal that was signed by Microsoft and, well, that was signed by PlayStation rather, only includes Call of Duty. So we know the juggernaut of uh, games that Activision Blizzard has, Diablo, Overwatch 2, and many, many more big games that is associated with Activision Blizzard. If Microsoft wants now, they don't need to put those games on a PlayStation platform. Any new title that has been produced by Activision Blizzard does not need to go on a PlayStation platform. All because Jim Ryan decided to sign this new deal. So I know right now the ponies are doing this. But face facts, this is a worse deal. Microsoft no longer is bound on contract to bring every and any Activision games to the PlayStation platform. No longer again would we ever see an exclusive skin or exclusive maps for PlayStation when it comes to uh, Call of Duty games. Instead, Microsoft is saying this in closing. So welcome, PlayStation fans. Welcome, Jim Ryan, to this brand new contract. And don't forget, on your way out... Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! <laughs> now tell me what you think. Do you think that Microsoft uh, gave Sony the best deal out there? Or did you think that Jim Ryan and Sony played themselves? This is Island Gaming with Jay, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.